but Braum is like so worthless into a Morgana lane. Oh baby. It's gonna be Lucian mid, so this is pretty hype. So it wasn't the Wind's double mark. actually meeting in the middle. Impact is on top of Haunter, but here comes Closer to start spinning. Impact, he's seen this one before oh, and he boy. doesn't like it at all. Epim Closer, there we go, it's first blood for Haunter. <laughs> <laughs> FBI and Huhi, who, who are actually landing so many of these Qs through minions. They're going aggressive now on tactical. Yeah, they've got that exhaust, they're gonna force the flash. One more auto need, a black shield off, and there's Huhi with the flash in. They're gonna go for it here, because Demonte is roaming down. That's gonna be a straight up 2v2 kill. Turn wow. into the mid laner, but here comes the dive, the root lads as well, Demonte gonna clean it up as FBI but takes Jensen the has made the move over. They're looking for the engage. Ooh, Flash still clips him and his Jensen. Double dash in, ready with the chains. Go to sleep, LeBlanc, don't ignite me. Nobody else follow up. Ah, Broxa just takes him down. Very so clean work. Closer and Hauntzer should have just backed it up. You know, there's no reason that they need a challenge. Oh, not all in. Tactical has got no Flash. He's about to get stunned up again. GP Ulti's going to seal it. It's Huhi going to grab the World Reserve kill, but the follow-up is there. The W lands no Flash for Core JJ, but the Black Shield is real nice. This Huhi taking up a few too many tower hits, but he has a stop one. Up. Very tough to pin down, Jensen, even if the Swirl Seed lands. Haunter, though, getting some mileage here in the 1v1. Big farm lead here for Impact, but Haunter is going to get the barrel kill. Flashes in, needs a little bit more. Oh, and that's <laughs> enough. Yeah, well, still keeping it close, mind you. Six minutes, 2,000 gold. Lead. It's less than that now. Don't kick me, bro. Oh, Brock, so with a nice Q follow up as well. Haunts are still trying to get his way out of there, but the oranges aren't available, so the shutdown. And the impact is going to end up quite a bit ahead off of the farm. Uh, and if he can maintain this freeze longer than that, it gets even worse. So we will see what impact what does. What windows they have in the 2v2. Ooh, that almost looked like it was heading straight for Tactical's feet. It's called JJ. Going to be the next target. That was just a really good vision play, it looked like, from Golden Guardians. I'm, I'm assuming that TL thought who he was roaming, so Core JJ went to match. And Here now Closer is behind him. Oh, get put to sleep. Oh, good slap. Flashes in for the Q. Tactical going to be the target next, and he's got no Black Shield, no Flash, and absolutely no hope of getting out. As it is going to be the double kill there for Lilia, but a big dive in top lane. Haunter is deleted by Broxer and Impact. Power, they're constantly threatening the all-in. They step forward, TL steps back. And they're going to be able to take down this tower here. Golden Guardian's bottom lane really on fire. Oh my god, look at that gold difference. That's well, 2,000 almost. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous for FBI versus Tactical. So they will get the first tower as a result. Ooh, Jensen finds Demonte sleeping in the shopping center. And he is going to get that kill. <laughs> Maybe saw a sale he liked. <laughs> Caught yeah. with the shopping, unfortunately. We have swords Jensen. on sale. Has an Essence Reaver. Not worth it, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, Rift Herald's going to drop the second Rift Herald place mid, so this one should be a tower kill post plates. I did not see gold pop there. Guardians often indexed early and then couldn't convert late. There is a worry of that happening here, but I do like this look from Demonte. He's trying to go for the 1v1. Brox is here as well. The kick is going to convert very nicely, but the center shield is going to save him, FBI. At Push least for mid lane. 30 seconds until this dragon fight. He also burned the Unbreakable, so here comes Impact's ultimate. Who are we going to burn the ulti? I think he knows he's dead. The Santa Shield is going to try and keep him alive for a little while longer, but no luck as the shutdown is going to go over to Tactical. So TL 5v4 now around this next dragon. Yeah, Golden Guardian's just really trying to force it prior to the dragon starting. Now Jamonte got a face check here. He could be in trouble. Yep, there's the combo. Ooh, Brox is here as well. Jensen's going to dive in. Demonte with a decent calling, but Jensen just going to fly. The earliest possible, you're looking at 32, 34, based on how long the dragons do sit up. and. And TL can just take a straight up fight at the dragon and probably win it. Yeah, it feels like, you know, overreaching into spots they don't need to. Perhaps just reading the game set somewhat. Where FBI, though, going to pop the miss to try and get Huhi in range. Kordo J is the target. But the binding will come through as he kites his way out of there. Oh, goodness, that's a two man knockoff. If I've ever seen one, see you later, duel land, as that's going to be two quick ones for the bottom side of TL. And now the impact ult is going to find two team liquid. Who's taken over the team fight. Demonte popped by Jensen. Closer will be followed on by Broxa. And Broxa does the kick on the horns right before he can kill Lilia. So he's going to ensure at least the four kills. Close it. From behind into the lead, they're going to grab Baron, and we'll see if they can they just go straight over towards the Infernal as well. Comes Ooh. on, though Impact is ready. Arrow is out, does hit one. The Dragon goes over, but what's the result afterwards? Who he get it back towards his Impact's team behind Impact them. is closing in. Does get slowed up by Kuhi, but now going to get the knock of a Jensen just destroys the poor Squishy Fawn in the front line. That is Lilia dead. That is the bullet around that Rom, which meant the Senna ultimate didn't even complete casting. He goes down immediately. Broxa getting behind Hauntzer, kicking him in. Beautifully done. Broxa has had a strong series for TL, and then because they got those kills over by the Dragon Pit, the push is on. The inhibitor tower is already down mid lane. Jensen is wrapping around behind you, and 
Check out the items on Jensen and Tactical. They could just end the game potentially yeah. here if they get these kills. They're going for it. Tactical's exhausted, by the way, and he's still almost killing Hui <laughs> as he just barely doesn't have enough arrows in the quiver to knock him down. They are going to break through the middle section of the base, though. That Red Bull Baron is doing work for these minions here. They've got a minute left to make it happen. I'll take down the inhibitor. Oh, oh goodness. W that was QR. Uh, with a double Q. They're just dead. Now Hauntzer caught out here. This has happened a lot this series. He is going down. Yeah, I mean, he wants this bomb. He's going to try and get it, but the tower, they're going to break this bottom side as well. It's a 5v4 still, even though it is technically a 4v4 right now in the base. Uh, not really one that Golden Guardian's fancy trying to get in on because they're still down 7,000 gold. Yep, and Jensen, with all that AP, he's going to kill off that top lane tower. A couple autos won't take him long, and then the third inhibitor is actually exposed. You know, while we saw that kill on the bottom side, Jensen almost killed Demonte off on the top side. He lived with five, ten percent health, maybe, and it's triple inhib for TL, and they are now a hair's breadth away from securing their world spot and from sweeping Golden Guardians. Yeah, from ninth back to worlds, and potentially back for another LCS trophy. Team Liquid looking so clean in this series. They look to take down the final touches of the Golden Guardian's base. That Nexus Tower is looking unhealthy, and Golden Guardian's probably going to have to make their stand fairly soon, but Close is getting chunked out as Jensen is just putting his body on the line for these picks. His impact going to redirect the ulti and barely miss them. Monte FBI trying to fend them off here. They're going to go after Tactical. is looking a bit low. Impact also in the front side is going to get rooted up, and the CC will continue. Impact is going to get locked up. He's searing charges away, but it's not enough. There's a knock up there. They're going to find two. Not bad for Golden Guardians, but it just, Golden Guardians yeah. gonna play for something different. So, so we'll just corral in all these super minions, and Golden Guardians won't even be able to wave Three waves in the base at the same time. This is where it gets impossible. Where TL just has to stand there and wait, and the Nexus turret's already dead just to the minions. Yeah. Now the Nexus is open. Here they go. It is opened up. The fight is gonna begin. But Impact with the ulti ready to go doesn't connect. Actually, Demonte's chasing down Jensen, almost able to get that kill, but Closer has to kite things out. Impact is tanking everybody up. But Demonte, he's trying to save his team. Core JJ low. Brox and I are gonna get stunned up and shut down as Golden Guardians. They're actually gonna hold here. They're gonna keep their base alive as they take down. Impact as well. Demonte. That's what Golden Guardians are looking for. It's got five ultis up. I'm expecting Golden Guardians to pull the trigger pretty quickly. Impact are going to go in first. Demonte kiting back, but Impact going to be the target. He's going to get stunned up. The CC chains are pretty long here, but there's a center ulti to protect who he's forced to flash out. But Impact, here comes the closer. Perhaps the ulti is good. Knocks up two. But Tactical going to get rooted as Brox going to try and make something happen. Demonte don't want a killing spree. He's taken out Core JJ, but they lost closer in the process. And it's Jungler v Jungle of Violence. The inhibitor towers are never coming back. The Nexter towers are never coming back. And now TL is at soul point. The yeah, Haunter is trying to get these barrels into some very sneaky spots, but who he is going to be assaulted now is Impact going to get it going. Good Glacial Fidger actually prevents. No, just barely misses the chance on Impact to get the ulti back around. But the dive is happening in for Closer. He's trying to sleep the rest of the team. Jensen going at stop balls. Golden Guardian still fighting out here, but FBI ate so much damage as Broxa dives in to try and finish it off. But Jensen, he's found himself to double. But Impact is low. Haunter is so strong, but he's going to fall as he can't dive 1v4 for the rest of TL. So now it's the two marks. Only Look at their health bars. For FBI left alone. His FBI, he's low, but he's going to get over by Jensen. I think that's going to be it. His FBI, he's got to cut it out. He gets the kill, but it's not enough. The ace and the game will go to Team Liquid, despite all the effort Golden Guardians put in. But they have nothing, no one left to defend with now. As Team Liquid are going to finish off the series 3-0. Book that final uh, upper bracket appearance with FlyQuest. Book that ticket to Worlds and look to take another trophy once again as Golden Guardians will fall to Team Liquid. Such a good turn there in the final moments from TL. It looked like Demonte just.